Hey there, this is Fax and Cosplay, and today I'm showing you an alternative method to dyeing wigs. Now there's the traditional method, which is, you know, Sharpie and alcohol dye, which I will be using in this tutorial. However, there are certain circumstances that call for unconventional methods. So, this method is perfect if you have a dark or colored wig that needs to be light in certain sections. You can use it for if you're doing streaks, but it's really best if you're doing roots or a gradient dye. The main materials you're going to need is a spray bottle full of water and some paint markers like these permapake markers. The colors that I used were brown and yellow and then pink and purple. If you're doing the gradient dye also, you're going to need rubbing alcohol, a spray bottle, and some Sharpies. Alright, let's get started. So the character I'm doing is Chloe Price from the hit video game Life is Strange. I got a light blue wig, so first I'm going to tint it a slightly darker blue using the Sharpie and rubbing alcohol method. I'm only using a little bit of the Sharpie dye since I don't want the color change to be dramatic. First, I'm testing the dye on a small hidden patch of hair to make sure I like the color. Once combining the alcohol and the dye in the spray bottle, I spray everything below the roots of the wig and blow dry it until it's no longer wet. Once I'm satisfied with the color, I'm going to take my paint markers and start coloring in the roots. I suggest combining at least two colors for each shade you're trying to create because it will look more natural, but that choice is up to you. Starting at the roots, I use the chisel side of the marker and work my way out. If the color is too bright or you want it to blend better, you can take your spray bottle and lightly mist the wig and comb or blot the hair with a paper towel. Rinse and repeat until you are satisfied with the result. The reason I suggest paint markers is because they go on more opaque than traditional dyes. If I were to try and dye this wig using yellow and pink sharpies, it would turn out dark green and purple. Paint markers will go on pretty close to the same color that they're meant to be, but will still be soft and brushable. This is why it's superior to using just plain old paint. Now just cut and style the wig to your liking, and you're done! Ta-da! You're ready to cosplay. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful. I was just wondering if anyone would be interested if I started doing art blogs or like draw with me where I do speed draws or talk about my paintings and whatnot. Along with cosplay, I also do art things. I'm in art school and I do a lot of drawing and painting and I'm trying to get my art out there more. So if anyone would be interested in me making some more of those art videos, just leave a comment below, let me know. Please, I really appreciate your feedback, and I will see you guys later.